Hey you guys, how's it going? So, guess what? I guess the tire for the crazy car has been in the mail this entire time. Since like April 4th, so it's been there for like two days. So now, both of these cars are going to Look at this chicken! Okay, okay guys, real quick, we're in pause. I saw this chicken, he was up there in the freaking, uh, like the storage area. I was like, what is this guy doing and where did my dog go? Hang on. Okay, we're back now. But uh, no, so we are going to run down to the mailbox. We're going to take the scooter like always. Go see if the tire's in there. Hopefully my dad doesn't have the shakies. No way. What is this chicken's deal? Penny! So, oh, she pooping. But uh, no. Hop on the scooter. Go down the mailbox. Get that front tire and wheel put back together. And then we're going to get someone over here to... So we can tandem these bad boys. Or we're going to go somewhere. I kind of want to go to the park that we always go to. Because it's got that sick circle and it would be a fun tandem. But uh, yeah. We're going to be ripping some sweet crazy carts today. So let's get it. Okay, you guys got the scooter? Bam, check her out. Thing's sweet. Okay, we're going to go ahead and mob down. Mob down the driveway and then uh, go check the mail. So yeah, let's get it. Oh, sketch with one hand. Oh my god. Okay, guys, we made it down the mailbox, and we have a bit more than what we thought. We got some T-Bolt stuff in here, too. I swear, T-Bolt ships things quicker than anyone. You guys are awesome. T-Bolt, if you guys are watching this, best pit bike park company in the game. But uh, and now we got to get the scooter and all these packages back up there. So hopefully we don't die, but yeah, I'll see you guys up top. Okay, guys, so for all of you Traxxas people out there, down in the comment section saying how strong these things are, this is the what happened after the skate park. How does a fan blade break off just from flat landing? I mean, really? And also, that broke too, the support mount. Bolt's missing, as you can see. And she's done so. So, yeah. Now this thing sounds absolutely clapped. That's what the noise was, but, yep. Well, the steering is now cutting out and it hasn't been driven since we took it to the skate park. Look, look, I'm turning the other way. I'm <laughs> turning the other way. Look, look. No steering. No steering. Oh, uh, now it goes straight. She's done. That's it. She's done. Now it goes straight. Straight. Junk. <laughs> Clapped. That is the quickest I've ever seen an RC car take a shit. Was it three batteries? Yeah, about three runs on it. Uh, I mean, one of them was pretty gnarly, but still. I mean, no. really? Come on. Okay. So the fan in there, I'll plug it in in a second so you guys can hear it. Or you guys have already seen that. And then uh, the servo housing. Let's see if I can get that on. See that, it's snap. Look at that. Look at that. Dang, she's toast. Okay. And then let's see if I can show you the brace. Oh, where's it at? That should be the one on the battery side. Hey, you see that? It's come. It's completely gone. It's missing the bolt right there. So yeah, she's uh, she's seen it all. So yeah, hopefully we can get this thing fixed here soon because I do like driving this thing. It is a blast, especially at a skate park. But if it, if all this has happened in three runs, then to me that means that it is not the ultimate basher. You guys go ahead, think whatever you want, go down in the comments, talk all the trash you want, I don't care. But to me, that is not the ultimate basher, so yeah. Look at all the crazy cards, though. Finally got these suckers all put together. Finally. Finally have them both up to the point to where they can both ride together. And you already know we left the sticker on for good luck, because you know that's, that's what the race car people do. I guess it's like a ritual. But yeah, pretty legit, pretty legit. Probably gonna be ripping crazy cars today. I'm gonna see if my buddy Addy can come over here and we can rip some tandems. But yeah, let's go get it. Look at this chicken, dude. I walked up and this chicken was just like chilling on the bar right here and it had his hands like crumped around it. I was like, nice, nice, nice powder coat, man. But yeah, 
we're gonna go out there. I, I need to eat some food, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, we're back now. We had to go do some school because, you know, I don't know, man. I'm so sick of school. It's like the last little bit. I just need to get it done. But uh, yeah, check this out. We done did got the tire right here. T-bolt package. So let's go ahead and get this stuff open real quick. I'm gonna throw you guys on the tripod. So yeah, right now. Okay, guys, let's get these freaking suckers open. Where's my Where's my special knife? Where's that sucker at? Oh yeah, my dad put new blades in these things, so I gotta be careful. Look at that. Sheesh, she's sharp. Can't slice through the tire, so. Wow, that is super sharp. Okay. Shabam. Freshy. Look at that. Got the Kenda print on there. I should, like, get a white marker and just, you know, like, scribble that on. 200 by 50. Got to leave the sticker on. You guys know the deal. Race car, obviously. All right, let's see what we got from T-Bolt. I think I know what it is. God, this thing's sharp. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's weird. Made in China. Figures. Because it is a Chinese bike. Oh, yeah. Check that bad boy out. Love that color. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. So now we got the tool that we need for the clutch. Yeah. Okay. Always get them T-Bull stickers. Shout out to T-Bull, you guys. T-Bull, you guys are like the best pit bike brand out there because you guys get stuff to us so quick. But we're going to go ahead and uh, get this wheel assembled so that we have a cart that is up and running again. And for the first time in ever, we will have both the carts running. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, the sprocket is stuck on there because I'm not, like, the smartest guy. And I... Uh, I done did tighten it on there without like removing any of the powder coat that they powdered all right here when there wasn't supposed to be powder coat. So it is like pressed on there with powder coat like all right here. So it's like impossible to get off, but you know, whatever. As long as we don't bend the sprocket ever, we'll be fine. Yeah, here's our tube. You guys already know the deal. Shaboozy. Okay, let's go ahead and get this assembled real quick. I'm gonna throw you guys in a time lapse. Okay, guys, we got the wheel all done up. It was such a pain in the butt trying to get that bolt in. Like, seriously, guys, I cannot get this sprocket off. I tried beating it off with a hammer. This thing's probably bent now. Hopefully not, but we'll see. But, yeah, we're going to go ahead and go throw this on the cart. We're leaving the sticker on. You got to leave a sticker on. This, this is a race car. We got to leave a sticker on. If you guys know anything about, like, racing, like, there's some, like, thing about, like, it's, like, bad juju if you don't leave the sticker on. Yeah, I don't know, but, yeah, let's get it. Okay, check it out, you guys. Sorry if it's windy and it's like hitting the mic, but finally, you guys, we finally have both the carts able to rip together. It's been about two months since uh, we built that one, or maybe not two, a month. We'll say a month. It's been about a month since we built that one. God, I hope this mic isn't getting just absolutely obliterated by the wind. But uh, no, so now we're gonna go rip these bad boys. I gotta wait for someone to come over so we can do some tandems together. But for now, we're gonna go shred. And my preference 
is the XL, at least for here. Let's try not to run into the other cart. We out of here. Oh my god. Okay guys, well it appears that when we were putting the tire on, the chain fell off the top sprocket. So now we have the joy of loosening this wheel and trying to get it back on. So yeah, let's do that real quick. Didn't even get to ride it yet. What is this chicken doing? What is that chicken doing, bruh? What are you doing? What are you doing? Get off the fresh powder coat, yo. Oh my God. Finally driving this tank. This thing's huge, you guys. Get it compared to the dog. That's pretty big. There's your size comparison. Yeah, pretty big. Go ahead and get this thing ripping. This thing does some damage to the trees even. Okay guys, this is going to be the 
outro. Uh, hope you guys liked the video. That thing is insane. It's really big. It's so heavy though. It's like really heavy. Like it weighs like probably 50 pounds. And uh, so if it lands messed up, it breaks super easy just because it has so much weight coming down. And uh, yeah, we bent a uh, the rod that goes through the A-arm. Yeah, that thing's taco. Luckily we have like 10 spares because it's impossible to get parts for that thing. But uh, yeah, we'll get that fixed in a little bit. We probably got to order a new A-arm too because I also egged out the A-arm. So try and find one of those. But Sledge is down there. She's out of commission for a while. I mean, oh well, is what it is. We actually, this Nomad right here went to a skate park a couple years back. It got sent about two times as hard and it flew about two times as high. And it never broke. Um, I actually broke the front bumper slamming into a uh, slamming into a concrete barrier when I was like 14 so yeah she's seen a lot but I mean that thing held up 10 times better than this sledge and the a-arms aren't nothing looks crazy beefy on this thing I mean you know just looks like a normal eight scale yeah Handles beatings 10 times harder than that. But at the same time, that Nomad also doesn't doesn't accelerate near as fast as that thing. So that thing has a, the sledge has a lot more torque. I feel like that's one thing Traxxas, their shit is just stupid fast. Like it's overly powered for the size of it. Like I could see the amount of speed that thing has in a chassis that big. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's, it's just overpowered for what it is, but I mean, that's also fun. So, I mean, it's like break a lot, fun, nah, I don't know if that really weighs out, but still super cool. We were actually supposed to, this video is going to be about the crazy carts until I, uh, until I went out to drive the sledge so my dog could get some exercise and realized that she was a uh, toast and wasn't going to be able to be driven, so. We're gonna go ahead and call Traxxas, try and get that all sorted out, see if we can get parts for it, but yeah. Tomorrow's video will actually be with these two, because we, we got some pretty sweet tandems down at the school with them, so yeah, that'll be sick. We're also gonna try and fix this thing, temporary. We're gonna get a rig it, kinda. I mean, no one will ever know, besides everyone that watches the video. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Hopefully, hopefully it works, I'm hoping so. We're just gonna throw some washers in there until we can get a custom, uh, uh, what do you call that? A custom collar made that'll fit in there. I'm gonna have to get it like CNC'd, so we're gonna have to find a machine shop that can do that for me. But uh, yeah, other than that, you guys, that's gonna end today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Please smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, you guys. I appreciate all of you that are subscribing and helping me out. We actually might have just sold the Banshee. Thanks to YouTube, actually. Uh, yeah, a guy down in the comments contacted him, and yeah. I think he's actually gonna buy this thing. He's sending us a check right now. We're gonna see if it clears. And if it clears, it's his. He's gonna, he lives in Florida, so he's gonna have some guys ship it over there. But yeah, crazy. The power of the internet is quite insane. But yeah, this thing's probably doesn't even have four hours on it, honestly. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.